Good morning dear friends and brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Again it is our joy and privilege to be together during these few minutes of meditating on God's word that we may be strengthened and encouraged and built up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be able to face our uh, our uh, unknown future. And today's meditation is centered around Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 9. Possessing peace and protecting peace. That is the title of this meditation. How do we possess peace? How do we protect the peace that we possess? Let me read this passage for you. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 9. Do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your minds and your hearts in Christ Jesus and uh, on this passage i would like to talk to you this matter of peace the sweetest word is peace and the peace is um, and, and the sweetest name is Jesus there are two kinds of peace that comes to us we have the freedom to choose which peace you want to possess the first one is worldly peace the peace that comes from this world and the second one is a heavenly peace about which Jesus says peace i leave with you and my peace is not like the world peace so what is the difference between this heavenly peace that comes from jesus and the earthly peace that comes from this world the worldly peace depends on our circumstances if our situations our circumstances are good we feel good nobody at home is sick you are healthy you have a good prosperous business or a wonderful job that brings in good salaries and your children are doing well in their studies and they're obedient and everything goes well and you say oh what a peace i have but then suddenly it doesn't take much time suddenly overnight your circumstance changes suddenly there is a pain and you went to see the doctor and the doctor's verdict is not so good and your wife therefore suddenly start worrying and that is affecting her health and the children are troubled too and everything is uh, uh, is resulting in a financial problems you are expecting a promotion in your job but unfortunately it didn't happen someone else who is junior to you was promoted so your peace is gone you are troubled you are anxious and you are worried and you ups- you are upset and you are depressed that the peace is nowhere near and that is the worldly peace it depends on your circumstance how about the peace that comes from heaven or the peace from jesus christ he said peace i leave with you my peace i give you The peace that I live with you is not like the peace of this world. It will stay. What is the difference? While a worldly peace depends on our circumstances, heavenly peace stays with us in spite of all the circumstances that we may go through. In good circumstances as well as bad circumstances, that peace remains. That is heavenly peace. Now we have the freedom to choose which peace we would like to enjoy. If you want worldly peace and then you forget about Jesus, you live your life in your own way and this will be the result. But if you want the peace that comes from Jesus, then there is a commitment that you have to make that you will follow Jesus and Jesus will be everything to you. and no circumstances is going to rob you of that peace from heaven now you want the peace 
that will stay with you in all circumstances even in the most difficult circumstances you see, i have the peace of god that without the knowledge of god nothing can happen and since he knows it all he will work it all for our good this is a heavenly peace this is the peace jesus promised this is a heavenly peace now how do we possess this peace and how do we protect this peace the philippian had every reason to worry and to be anxious they were suffering persecution and they were disturbed by some quarreling and disunity happening in the church and they had some carnal members in the congregation and they were facing some uh, false teachers who were attacking the cross of Jesus Christ and some of them were facing poverty and a lack of other necessities of life and uh, paul says we needed I, I'm, i'm not paul i'm sorry uh, and so in that kind of situation the members begin to say we need some supernatural answer to all these problems that we are facing perhaps in your own life you are facing such a situation you are facing such a situation for which you are looking for a supernatural inter- intervention of god himself and you say only god can solve this for me are you facing such a situation i have good news for you there is an answer in jesus christ and not only in jesus christ jesus christ himself is the answer to your need and your problem and um, paul says to these believers you possess that answer in your mouth and you check it and then you proclaim that answer with your mouth what is the answer do not be anxious for anything says the lord do not be anxious about anything one essential cure for worry is prayer and so through prayer what what happened in prayer through prayer we renew our trust in the lord's faithfulness by casting all our anxieties on him because he cares for you Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 34 and then 1st Peter chapter 5 verse 7 read these scripture passages once again a few days ago i have referred to the same passages in another context such an action on our part what is the action casting our burdens and anxieties on the lord because he cares for you and that action will open up a channel for god's peace to flow into us and god our hearts and our minds in christ jesus as a result of a communion with god we are assured that in all things god works for our good romans chapter 8 verse 28 my brothers and sisters if you are listening to me please listen carefully everything our god is able to work out even bad things he can work it out for our good something wonderful You know our God is a God who brings forth things out of nothing. And in that case he can work out amazing miraculous things out of good things as well as bad things. Now how does he do it? Bad things for us but out of that bad things God can work out our situations 
and our circumstances and that bad situation we are facing the outcome of it all will prove to be something great that we have been able to learn amazing lessons for our benefit for our good sometimes we don't be say a blessing in disguise you know some something we wanted but it never happened but then we discover that it was good that it did happen because it is it is terrible that situation my friends you know many years ago there was a missionary couple um, in lucknow and uh, they had a, a boy and a girl as their children one day they decided to travel by drive driving from lucknow to hardoi at uh, about 110 kilometers away from lucknow and these children were looking forward so excitedly their trip and they are waiting anxiously and after lunch on a sunday afternoon they got into the car and they started they they, they tried to start the engine but it just simply won't start they got out and uh, they tried their best everything then on sunday by being sunday it was difficult to find any mechanics nearby so they tried and tried then they gave up and they said we will not go today and tomorrow we will call a mechanic and set everything right and then we will go tomorrow and this boy was so disappointed he got so upset and he asked this question why god is allowing this thing to us we were looking forward but look what is happening and uh, the parents tried to console her him and uh, uh, cajoled him and settled him and the next day after everything done they started off to hardoi you know what they found out the previous night in which they were to travel evening some dacoits rounded up some uh, vehicles that was driving and that was uh, going on that hardoi road they looted them and uh, it was a terrible situation and when the boy came to know this and saw what happened he said thank god that we didn't travel yesterday my friends what seemed to be a bad thing for that boy ultimately proved to be a good thing You know don't get mad at God when something didn't turn out to be the way you you and I wanted. Trust God. Everything will work out for your good because you love the Lord. You have problem. I you know. We we remember this verse be anxious for nothing. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you, for us. you have problem and you don't know what to do you talk to your friends and they do not know what to do and they are also confused then you remember what god's word tells you be anxious for nothing the worldly and ungodly has no answers to these anxious times their only answer is to commit suicide That's why very often we read in the uh, newspapers and also see on TV news and all. A father killed his wife and uh, his three children and then he killed himself. Why? Financial worries. Or a mother just took her three children and drowned themselves killing. Why? Anxiety. worries of life because the world gives no peace the world gives no answers but in our god we have the answer god's people this is our god my friends our god the god of the bible is different unlike any other god trust him 
the the you know there is a chorus that we used to sing jesus is the answer for the world today there is no one else who possess the answers that he possess and uh, you know some are not able to handle pressures of life and they are not able to handle depression this is the reason the holy spirit is given to us he understands all of our groanings and cryings and the feelings that words cannot express we only mourn we are not able to express in words our 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 the feelings that we get into us But what does the Holy Spirit does? What we do? He takes up these groanings and this mourning and this crying. And he translates it. And he doesn't need to translate. God understands everything. And he present this to Jesus Christ and Jesus then present our prayers to God the Father. And when God the Father answers he answers through the same channel he gives the answer to Jesus who by the Holy Spirit bring the answer to us What a marvelous and wonderful God we have And you also must be encouraged to remember that there are there are two divine persons praying for you First is the Holy Spirit because many times we do not know how to pray what to pray for but the holy spirit steps in and he takes up our groanings and mournings and put it in the hands of jesus and jesus to god the father and then god jesus christ himself at the right hand of god the father what is his present ministry his present ministry is to intercede on behalf of his people you and i what a comfort why should you worry that is why i like this song why should i worry why should i feel lonely why should i long for home when jesus is my portion and my constant friend is he his eye is on the sparrows and then i know he watches me hallelujah father who sends the answers through Jesus his son and the son gives to the holy spirit and the holy spirit through the holy spirit ministry gives the answer to us so do not worry do not be anxious this is the peace that Jesus gives in the midst of all your difficulties you can still enjoy the peace that comes from Jesus it will remain with you fill you with assurance and certainty that at the end all is going to be well it's well with my soul may the lord bless you as you meditate further on this and strengthen your faith and i pray that the spirit of god will move upon your heart and you are assured of your prayer being heard in heaven and also you are assured that our living god hears your prayer will also answer your prayer but to make sure that you pray according to god's will and you would pray according to god's will when you know the scriptures submit yourself to god he cares for you amen this is a good day and a marvelous and wonderful day go on enjoy this day by the grace of God. Amen.